like to just show you how to patch as well as paint any imperfections or even holes in your wall. So if it's a big hole, it's an actual hole, you're going to have to get some mesh tape and put it over the hole first uh, or some sort of backer. Uh, for little imperfections like this, little dings and dents, you won't have to do that. So you can get some sort of spackle or mud. I like to use this pink kind because it indicates when it's dry, it turns white. Uh, so I'll start with the thickest, uh, thickest holes or imperfections. Usually, if there's any really big ones, I'll do them first so they have more time to dry. And then I go through the house and do the rest. So what you wanna do is just put a little bit on your spatula, put a, you know, try to get a nice thick amount to cover it and then go over it real lightly and scrape it off. Now this will scrape, uh, it will shrink a little bit uh, as it dries. So you're gonna have to sand it after it dries and then maybe do a second or even third one. And to get it really nice, the best way to, to go about that is to, uh, if you're using mud, mix it a little thinner for the second or third times um, so that you don't get the lines. But uh, you can also, if you just wanna try to do it once, do it real thick like that and then sand the rest down so it'll sand flat. Uh, of course, you'll have more cleanup that way. So, uh, another thing to keep in mind is that if you paint right over mud, it is going to look different. So it's a really good idea after you sand the uh, patch spot to hit it with primer and then paint it. We'll give that a little bit of time to dry and uh, we'll get back to painting it afterward.